Thank you for joining. Uh, I think that we still have people joining in. So let's wait for five minutes maybe and we'll start. Thank you. Hello to everyone who's just joined and um, I think just a couple of minutes for those who hasn't yet so and we'll start. Thanks. Yeah, hello. Hello again. Um, I think we should kick off. Uh, so uh, thanks again for joining. And I'm told that uh, today is a holiday in Georgia. 
Well, thank you so much for your time joining uh, on the holidays. Um, we are really happy to welcome you on this course, uh, and uh, I hope you've uh, already watched uh, the first lecture and you uh, know basically what it is about. If you didn't, uh, just a couple of words. Uh, so we decided to kick off this course, uh, which will help you to know something about uh, complex intelligence systems, maybe something about software testing. Uh, and this course was uh, to a great extent inspired by the challenge, IEEE challenge, which is uh, uh, conducted for the very first time uh, by the same organization who are driving the conference, the conference in the uh, sphere of uh, AI and testing. Uh, the conference itself uh, is being held for the third time, but uh, it is for the very first time that uh, the organizers, uh, the organizing committee decided to uh, put forward uh, a challenge, a competition um, uh, along with this conference. So uh, we decided that uh, this uh, direction would be interesting for everyone and decided to uh, make this course. Uh, I hope that you will find it interesting. So thanks again for joining. Um, and uh, I think that we will start with um, introductions. So I can see that um, a number of people uh, who are depicted on the slide are present um, uh, here on the call. Um, and uh, I think that we will just proceed with the introductions. So uh, I will tell a couple of words about myself. Uh, my name is Yelena Trishova. I'm part of Exactra research team and I'm based out of Cincinnati, Ohio, this is US. Um, also, uh, on this slide, you can see uh, other people. Uh, so you can see uh, Rostislav and Iosif, uh, uh, who um, helped to compile uh, the lectures, the uh, actual uh, academic material. Uh, we have uh, a couple of people here who will help you with the practical side of the course. This is Levan and Alexandre. Uh, and uh, we have uh, here Daria, uh, who prepared everything mm, in English, so she adapted the materials uh, for another language, and this is her face that you uh, probably already uh, seen uh, on the video. And uh, we also have uh, Natia and Svetlana, who will help you uh, with their organizational moments during this course. Uh, okay, uh, I think I will uh, uh, pass it over uh, Daria to introduce herself, right? Dash, are you here? Yes, I am, sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here. I hope you enjoyed lecture one, and I look forward to the rest of the course. Um, as you know, I'm Daria, and I'm part of the research team as well, and I'm also a marketing communications manager with Exactro. Great, thank you. Yosef? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yosef Ritkin. I'm CEO and co-founder of ExactPro. We are a business focused on uh, software development and software testing for complex intelligent systems, mostly in financial sector. In 2018, we opened our first uh, office in Belize, and Nadia is CEO of the office. She will introduce herself. Uh, I am excited by um, the opportunity to work on this course. Uh, it is at the confluence of two very important uh, topics, software testing and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, so I'm looking forward to explore both topics together with you. Thanks a lot for joining. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Natya, do you uh, tell a couple of words? Yes, yeah, sure. So first of all, I'm happy to see you here because uh, it's non working day in Georgia. Uh, and if we have moms here, uh, congratulations with um, International Women's Day. Wish you success and happiness. 
with your family. I'm Natia, CEO of um, Exact Broad Policy Office. And during this course uh, uh, and upcoming sessions, including QA sessions and seminars, I will be with you, trying to support you. So if you have any questions or need any clarifications, you are welcome to contact me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and um, we also have here your instructors for the course. So, uh, uh, Levan, uh, will you introduce yourself and Alexandria as well? Hello, everyone. It's it's nice to see that we have so many people here. Um, I'm really excited to doing the first seminar. We have first seminar on Friday. Um, so me and Alex will be uh, doing some practical stuff with you with the simulator. Um, I am working as a QA analyst in ExactPro, mainly working on model-based testing. And again, I'm excited to be uh, hosting the seminars. Alex? Yes, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Alexander Barnabishvili. I work at ExactPro and um, as Levani said, I'm here to support you with practical part. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, you can ask and I'll answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have anyone else here who wants to introduce himself or herself? So oh, I guess I will do. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. I will be without camera. My name is Lana. I'm HR manager at Exact Pro uh, First of all, uh, thank you for your interest in this course, and I hope that you uh, will like it. Together with Natia, we will be helping with organizational things, so uh, you are welcome to contact me uh, once you have questions. So I wish you good luck with the course, and uh, uh, yeah, hope you will like it once again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Anna. Um, so, uh, we introduced ourselves, so you uh, now know who are you uh, going to work with uh, during this course. And now, uh, I think we can move to uh, getting you uh, better, and for that, we prepared a couple of questions. Uh, so, I will ask you to answer them, and I will now ask to share a link to the first question in our chat here in this call. Can you help us? Yeah. So, um, and the first question is uh, whether you already had an opportunity to watch the first video lecture. So please let us know. There are still people who doesn't know what we are talking about. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for uh, your answers. And this is really good to see that most of you have actually watched the lecture and even understood uh, what the course will be about. Uh, for those who uh, haven't uh, watched the lecture yet, uh, I think all the links uh, are provided in our Telegram chat and in your email. Just check all the materials that you have up to date and uh, please watch it. Okay, uh, can we get the second question, please? Uh, 
so we would like uh, would like to know more about you so what do you do what's your sphere of interest and we will try to somehow relate it to the course contents okay most of you are students this is good this means that you are open to exploring new topics new fears and we also have some testers here that's great that's great because uh the um topic of our course is quite a wide one so i think that this uh, will be interesting for everyone uh, be it IT specialty or maybe something else. So I think that uh, we will share our knowledge with everyone uh, of you and you can uh, get everything from the course. Uh, okay, so uh, can we please proceed to the next question? Here we are trying to understand what's your experience over the IT sphere and we will think how we will adjust the practical side of the course. Mm -hmm. Okay, mostly beginners or no experience. So this is something for our course instructors to know. This is very important. And yet, uh, yet again, uh, we will be trying to make this course interesting for everyone, whether you are an expert or just uh, begin your first steps in the IT sphere. Okay, I think everyone has already voted on this one. Yep. Does someone want to say something? No? All right. Uh, then, uh, can we have the next question, please? Uh, meanwhile, maybe someone would like to present himself or herself. You may have any volunteers. <laughs> Yeah. This is a free discussion, so if you want to say something, to comment on something, so please feel free. And uh, we are now looking uh, how the voting goes on the question uh, about what attracted you in this course. Oh, so nice to see that uh, most of the people are interested in software testing. So yeah, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce myself if I can. Wow, yeah. great. So yeah, hello. Yeah, my name is uh, Shota Cherkelishvili. So I'm 31 years old and uh, now, uh, right now actually I'm start, uh, studying the c -sharp program language um, a, bit, a bit more than one year. So, and uh, I'm really interested in software testing. Uh, a few months ago, I, had, I tried my, by myself to get some more from YouTube videos, but it was quite an, <laughs> a bit hard. So yeah, uh, and I'm working at an, um, one international company, not in like as an, uh, a programmer or something. Of course, I marked here, but there was not an option to mark another. Um, uh, so, and uh, yeah, I'm working now as an, Auditor there, but uh, I'm planning in the near future to move in as an IT programmer or uh, being like a tester. So, yeah. That's impressive. Thank you. Maybe uh, someone else wants to introduce himself or herself as well. You're more than welcome. Okay, uh, let's then proceed to the next question. 
we almost we, we know almost everything about you now, but still we have some cool questions. Yeah, and the next question is about your plans regarding the challenge. So if you watched the lecture and if you joined at the beginning of this uh, call as well, I mentioned that there is a challenge on autonomous driving and testing. So we would like to know whether you're interested uh, in this external event or not. So we'll be you trying uh, to submit something for this uh, competition or not. Okay. Okay. Most of you are thinking about submitting a submission, um, about making the decision about submission um, in in a couple of weeks' time. Yes, and maybe this is a good strategy because um, after uh, going through a part of this course, you will decide what you can do, what you cannot. And maybe this is really a good strategy. And we have some people who uh, absolutely want to take part in the challenge, which is exciting. Uh, and that means that you are more motivated to take this course. Thank you. And uh, next question, please. Sorry for that. Yes, and here uh, we have a reference to something that you heard um, in the first lecture. Uh, I mentioned about, um, not I, <laughs> I think you uh, looked, uh, you watched the Darius uh, video, right? So she mentioned that there is an uh, approach to testing, which is called behavior driven development. So, um, something that we want to know is whether you're familiar with this approach and whether you are using it uh, in your work. Some of you don't use it, and some of you uh, have uh, even, even never heard of it. Yeah, which again means that the course is the right place for you then. Let's wait for everyone to vote. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Okay, and moving to the next question. This is already something organizational. We'd like to see what content do you prefer, what you're uh, going to, how uh, are you going to organize uh, the way that you learn during this course? And this is interesting, what kind of content do uh, are you planning to watch? Okay, this question is just a question, so we will stick to um, English version of, of lectures for this course, and this is just something that we were interested in knowing about you. Thank you for your answers, and uh, do we have the last question? Can we see it now? Yes, and here we would like to uh, ask you to share with us uh, what way of communica communication with us uh, do you prefer? Would you like to stay on Telegram or would you like to move maybe to Facebook? While we are working on uh, the ch chat platform, I would like to 
address the question about requirement, hardware requirements for the simulator. Indeed, uh, this it is called high fidelity uh, autonomous vehicle simulator. So it means that uh, the graphics there is quite realistic. And the idea is that information from the simulator is passed to uh, realistic or even real uh, autonomous driving stack. Uh, that's why there are heavy requirements for graphics processing, and it uh, requires to use uh, NVIDIA or other uh, powerful uh, processing uh, video cards. Uh, as Alexander pointed in the chat, we are looking into several options. Uh, first of all, once more people are registered to the IEEE contest itself, so the contest is separate from this course. So we are uh, participating in the contest uh, in the sense that we are sponsoring and also help helping to promote uh, information about the course, but it is organized independently by University of San Diego. And also there are several companies that are, are preparing the course, including Baidu, Apollo and LG. Uh, one of potential partners is Amazon AWS. And there is high degree of probability that at some point, probably for the contest itself, they will allocate some computing power in the cloud that can be shared. Uh, also, we are looking to allocate several of our own boxes to the students, so you will be able to use them for some time. So we are looking for various options to enable uh, testing and enable working with it for anyone who is not that into gaming and doesn't have a powerful uh, gaming uh, workstation or gaming uh, notebook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yosef. Uh, maybe anyone has any questions, maybe some comments uh, regarding the lecture? Was everything clear? Was everything understandable? Well, maybe some feedback? Feel free. Uh, feel free to do say anything, whatever you want. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, and uh, we are moving to uh, to the chat, I think, right? So if you uh, want to uh, ask your question like in voice, so please go ahead. Okay, so there will be some coding in Python involved in controlling simulator and specifying the test scenario. Uh, LG simulator supports uh, Python API that you can download and study. And our third lecture and the second seminar are dedicated to uh, exploring this Python API. So some uh, level of uh, coding is required on one hand. On the other hand, I would not say that it is necessary to have years of experience uh, in writing software code. So basic understanding of Python and ability to write simple code would be enough uh, 
uh, for the course. Um, well, uh, good uh, uh, good question uh, on what to do if the box is not capable of uh, running it. Uh, it is possible to slow down the simulator so it is not in uh, real time, uh, but running slower. Maybe it will help a little bit. There are also several options to uh, to decrease uh, the load. Uh, we will further explore it and share if we see anything there. Yes, one of them is pointed by Alexander. Okay, looks like we have uh, one more question, right? Okay. Well, the simulator needs to render things in order to pass them through the bridge to autonomous driving stack. So the idea is that you can connect different uh, autonomous vehicles to it and uh, it will simulate uh, radars, leaders, cameras, etc. So it will have to render at least a things that it passes to uh, the sensor through uh, the sensors uh, through the bridge to uh, autonomous uh, driving stack. But it is possible to run the simulator in a headless mode. It will take uh, less uh, video memory. Yeah, thank you for the question. Thank you for answers. Anyone else wants to ask something? <coughs> A nice question from Ketevan. So please join, uh, please join Ketevan if you are interested. This is a very good idea. And yet, uh, yet again, uh, for um, those of you who haven't heard about uh, the challenge yet, uh, so this is something that uh, is uh, held uh, by a number of uh, different organizations. So this is uh, first. Uh, first of all, this is the same set of organizers as for AI test conference. So uh, I told you that this is a conference in a in this new uh, field on the confluence of artificial intelligence and software testing. So the conference itself is very uh, interesting, and they, uh, by the way, they still accept uh, submissions uh, and they extended their deadline for papers till uh, the 30th of April. So go ahead if you're interested, if you uh, like, if you do academic uh, work. So this is something for you. And uh, back to the challenge again. Um, it is organized by the people from San Jose State University uh, in collaboration with IEEE Computer Society. And uh, there are also a number of um, sponsors who uh, support the conference, um, the challenge as well. And you can see Exactra here, you can see uh, Baidu Apollo uh, and uh, LGSVL uh, Simulator. They also know about this challenge and they are among the organizers. I think on the organizing committee, we have every, everyone um, like from uh, either of those organizations. 
um, on the website. Uh, I think that we have shared the link uh, to this uh, website in our first lecture. So please check um, the notes uh, under the video on YouTube and uh, check the presentation deck itself. Uh, I think uh, it must have this uh, link. So uh, on the website, there are important dates. And you can see that you uh, have time to submit your team. So this is nothing serious. It's just your uh, names and last names uh, of those who want to um, participate on the team. So and you have um, until March 15 to do that. Uh, then, um, hmm, then they haven't changed uh, the information about training and preparation. Uh, this is about to start on March 19th. Uh, but the um, website wasn't just updated to reflect this change. Uh, so the organizers decided to wait for everyone to register first, and then uh, they will kick off the training. So there is a chance that you will see something uh, interesting from Apollo uh, and LG uh, during the training. So right from uh, this source. Yes, and the other dates are also here. So if you need any details, again, uh, please ask, and I will try to elaborate on that. Uh, also, both LG and Apollo already have a bunch of videos in English uh, published on uh, their YouTube or other uh, channels. So uh, Apollo have uh, um, quite a lot of videos describing the autonomous driving stack on their website, and LG has a YouTube channel uh, where they um, published several uh, videos describing the simulator. Uh, one more thing of what to do if uh, you have problems with running simulator, etc. So uh, LG Research Center is responsible for maintaining the simulator. It might be a good idea to go uh, into GitHub and uh, try to raise issues there. So you can always try to uh, get more information directly uh, from the source. A and also once the training started, while once more people are registered, uh, it will be possible to uh, talk to the authors of the simulators more uh, directly and pass uh, your question there. Also on a simulator website, there are sections related to uh, troubleshooting and also to contributing uh, for the project. And it says that if you have any issues, you can submit a GitHub issue to the main GitHub uh, repository. Um, so one more uh, thing. Uh, on the team's structure, unfortunately, we only have information from like two weeks uh, ago. And at that time, there were 63 people registered uh, for the contest. and uh, grouped into uh, 36 teams. There were teams consisting of a single person, and there were also teams from uh, various universities uh, with five members on the team. So on average, it was two. There were teams with five, and there were teams with uh, a single person. So do not be afraid to register your team. And also, I think uh, it would not be a problem to restructure the team going forward if necessary. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I think this is uh, something that we can uh, take uh, as a discussion for our um, Telegram chat. So please feel free to, um, to get to know each other like uh, better and uh, please uh, unite into the teams. Oh, okay. Uh, so the next question that we have uh, is uh, about um, 
uh, our software testing uh, theory part. Uh, and the question is about ISTQB. So uh, I think that we will cover like the foundations. Uh, this is for sure. Uh, we will uh, tell you about uh, like the main approaches, the types of software testing, um, maybe um, um, like regarding the contents of this uh, syllabus. Um, we will cover definitely we'll cover uh, the first uh, chapter. And uh, I think that um, in uh, lecture, what, four? No, lecture five, maybe uh, we will cover, mm, no, I don't re remember uh, which lecture is on automation, uh, but right. I do remember that it's uh, chapter four, right? And so in the syllabus. Uh, yes, so there are two chapters in two lectures. Uh, I'm currently working with Elena and Daria on preparing the fourth uh, lecture. It will be on foundations of software testing. Uh, our idea is not just take uh, ISTQB, but also look into other sources uh, like uh, Black Box uh, Foundation course. It was referred in the lecture. It is a slightly different perspective from uh, what is promoted by ISTQB. And we are trying to find uh, uh, best parts uh, in both of them. Uh, and the fifth lecture is called Build Software to Test Software. It will be more focused on uh, test automation and approach of developing software in order to test a uh, complex uh, software. And I think Nadia has something to add about ISTQB. Yes, just um, for information that we haven't shared yet, because it's in the process of preparation, uh, those who may be interested more deeper to um, get um, the information uh, about the ISTQB foundation level uh, according to the chapters, according to the details, uh, we're working on another course, not this course, uh, where we will cover mostly all chapters and not only the, uh, the chapter from ICQB, but also they're from other sources. This just for information, uh, it's under process of preparation and uh, soon we will announce it so you can keep um, an eye on our news and you will get the information about this course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matya. Okay, if you have more questions, you are free and you are welcome to ask. Please. If you rather prefer to ask them in the chat, again, join our Telegram discussion. I, I see the question from Tony L. <laughs> and mm -hmm. one more question. <laughs> uh, okay. Regarding the purpose of this course, uh, I think there are uh, many purposes behind uh, this course. Uh, one of them is, uh, of course, uh, an educational site that uh, we would like to uh, show that uh, those two areas, uh, one of uh, artificial intelligence and another of software testing, they are quite different, uh, but uh, we would like to show that they are actually can be uh, connected really, really well, and software testing is an area that can comprise uh, many different topics related to information technology in itself. And uh, we will just uh, try to uh, explain to you uh, that uh, this area is uh, really a good field, a field uh, to work with uh, complex intelligence systems, so that you're not afraid of this topic as well. Uh, another uh, purpose uh, that we uh, aim to achieve during the course uh, uh, is maybe uh, for ourselves uh, to cover uh, something new. As Orsif mentioned, we uh, mostly work with software testing in the financial sphere as a company. 
So as a business, we are focused on trading and clearing platforms. Uh, but uh, they are also complex platforms. And when we uh, started, uh, started to look at autonomous driving, we uh, understood that this is, uh, uh, of course, another type of system, uh, types, uh, type of systems, but uh, it is um, common to, uh, it is similar to what we are already doing uh, in, in that way that it's also complex and it's non-deterministic. So this is uh, a very good example for us to look at and to try and to learn new things uh, together with you. So uh, this is the uh, second purpose. And uh, the third, maybe uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm right or not, but uh, I think this is a very good idea to support the uh, external challenge uh, because uh, for now I, I took like a peek uh, into whose registers. So I couldn't draw um, too much conclusions from the email addresses that I have um, at hand. But uh, if, uh, if you look through, so uh, there are mostly people from China and India who uh, have already registered. And we thought that just another part uh, of the globe, it would be good to attract people from uh, Georgia as well. So why not? So maybe to extend the geogra uh, geography of the, <laughs> of the challenge. I hope I answered to this question. Elisif, do you have anything to add to it? Uh, two, two questions. The first one, uh, what to do and whether it will be enough, uh, uh, enough materials provided as a part of this course. Uh, in order to proceed. So uh, software testing is a complex and developed field. And uh, the volume of information there is enormous. Uh, but we do will try our best to cover uh, the basics uh, during lectures. As for seminars, uh, we intentionally put uh, free lectures covering various aspects of uh, test automation or development testing. One is about unit testing, another is about uh, BDD, one of uh, approaches to software development and specifying requirements. And the last one is on data-driven and keyword-driven testing. So we hope that it will enable you to uh, better understand the subject through uh, practice. And both of these approaches, uh, they are not really targeted uh, exclusively on uh, autonomous vehicles or simulators. They are used widely in financial sector in web development in other areas as well. So I do hope that we'll manage to pass some uh, basics uh, for you to proceed. As for the next steps, uh, first of all, uh, uh, we do encourage you to look at LG video. Uh, you can uh, download the simulation slide to uh, run it uh, yourself so it would be a good experience maybe you'll encounter some problems and you'll have some questions good to uh, bring them to the seminar on friday uh, if uh, you think that it is uh, too easy for you uh, there are other things that you can do first of all you can also download uh, Python API part, study the code, uh, run it, uh, try to control the simulator from Python API. It is a subject of the second seminar that will be uh, next week. And if you are uh, really, really mature and powerful, uh, please do share your experience with us. We, are, we would be very happy to any contribution to the course and discussions. 
But what you can also do is make sure that you are not just installing the simulator, but also Apollo stack. So you can deploy Docker, deploy Apollo, connect one to another, etc. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So while we are uh, waiting for more questions for you, uh, from you, um, maybe Natya would like to say something about the motivation for exact draw for this course. Well, all about it, uh, you mentioned already and you gave the information. Um, I, I would just um, add maybe some of you are interested in that. Uh, we are always looking for talented people. So those who are really, really motivated to go deeper and know more about software testing and uh, will find themselves that um, this is the thing that they like to do and this profession to be um, for, for them. So we would happily to invite you for our interview and um, we'll be very happy, if you, of course, later if you will decide and we as well to join our team. So this is also one side, I would say, um, as we are always looking for and we are always happy to have uh, talented people in our uh, team, big team. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, hi, I have a question about the um, seminar, uh, which should be on Friday. Um, I want to know what is the format of this seminar? Uh, is it going to be a live session? Uh, yes, I can answer that. The, it will be basically going through uh, the installing, downloading and installing the, this uh, simulator and launching it and uh, basically uh, some of the configurations of, of the interface. So um, just to add the information, it will be in real time, um, the sharing the screen and you will be able to follow all these tabs and to repeat the same for, for yourselves as well later <laughs> or even during um, the seminar as well and ask the questions, of course. Uh, yeah, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So it would also be a good idea to uh, share the screen uh, during the seminar or before the seminar, whether you were able to run the simulator or not able to run the simulator. Uh, we can uh, probably uh, uh, we will forward it. Okay, thank you. Thank you once again. Um, and if we have no further questions, we can uh, wrap today's meeting up. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time on the holiday. Thank you for everyone who joined. And uh, we will be happy to see you on Friday. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank bye, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Goodbye. See you. Bye. bye. bye.